Praise the Lord. This is Sister Marilyn Belcher, and I'm the pastor of the First United Pentecostal Church here in Centerville, Alabama. And I'm thankful that you're with us today on this video. And I thank God that He's in control. I thank God for all the wonderful things that He's ever done in my life. I thank Him because I know that without Him, I would never have made it this far. And you may be going through situations in your life, and, and, and you may just be wondering, wondering how is it going to work out but one thing I've learned in life is to praise him praise him through the storms praise him through the battles and and one thing I've also learned and I'm still learning is that even when it seems so terribly bad things could still be worse and I just want to praise Him, and I want you to praise Him today for being in control of situations. Because so many times we feel like life is out of control, but yet I know in God, He is still in control, and He's got everything. And so today, I just want you to be encouraged in the Lord. Before I get into the message, I want to give my special shout out to Britt Britt, or to Brittany, a very special young lady in my life life. And so today, hello, Brittany. I'm going to be preaching a little bit different today, possibly. Uh, I'm going to, my title is, Our Appetite Affects Our Attitude. And, and so I could not sleep the other night, and I turned the uh, light on over the bed, and I started reading scripture. And I read something there about David that really spoke to me. And as the days have progressed, I I've seen other things that would point in that same direction. And then last night, I saw a sign that just totally, it just kind of pulled it all together. And I realized that God was giving me this message. So, I'm going to be today in 2 Samuel, the 23rd chapter, and reading verses 13 through 17. And again, this is regarding David. So the scripture says here, And three of the thirty chief went down and came to David in the harvest time into the cave of Adullam. And the troop of the Philistines pitched in the valley of Rephidim. And David was then in a hold, and the garrison of the Philistines was then in Bethlehem. And David longed and said, Oh, that one would give me drink of the water of the well of Bethlehem, which is by the gate. And the three mighty men break through the host of the Philistines and drew water out of the well of Bethlehem that was by the gate and took it and brought it to David. Nevertheless, he would not drink thereof, but poured it out unto the Lord. And he said, Be it far from me, O Lord, that I should do this. Is not this the blood of the men that went in jeopardy of their lives? Therefore he would not drink it. These things did these three mighty men. David was in a place that he could not go for himself. And this scripture is talking about David's mighty men. And they heard David as he longed for a drink of the well. And so they being the mighty men, they broke through of the army of the Philistines and they got the very thing that David had longed for. They got him some water out of that particular well. And when they brought it back to David, instead of being greedy or being selfish or anything like that, David realized these men had put their lives on the line to get him a drink of water. And he could not drink it. So he poured it out unto the Lord. It became a drink offering. As he said, this is the blood of the men that they risked their lives for me and I cannot drink it. And the Bible says there that this is the thing that these three mighty men 
did. So many times what we desire, and I'm talking about our appetite, the things that we desire affects our attitude. The things we desire are the things that we hunger for. It, it can be our diet, the things that we take into this body, and it affects our attitude. And, and sometimes we begin to desire things that's not of God. We begin to drift away from God and desire the things of the world. We begin to desire things that we know that's not pleasing to God. And then it begins to affect our attitude. Uh, uh, there in the book of Matthew, I know I've read it multiple times, but in Matthew, the fifth chapter in verse 6 it said blessed are they which do hunger and thirst now that's your appetite that's the things that you desire that, that's the things that you want to take in it says blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness for they shall be filled and I can't help but when I'm reading the Beatitudes when I get to this particular particular one and it's talking about the desire for that we hunger and thirst what for not for the worldly things not for the things that other people are doing but the Bible says for righteousness it said that we would be filled but I find that in verse 5 it said blessed are the meek the verse before that uh, about hungering and thirsting at righteousness it said blessed are the meek and the verse after that it said blessed are the merciful and I know from serving God and reading the word of God if we want to have mercy we have got to show mercy and so the things that we desire that appetite where we take in is going to affect our our attitude and our attitude the way we conduct ourselves the way that we respond to people the way that we respond to God is going to be affected by the things that we take in and those things that we want we've got to want more of God to be more like him we've got to take in more of of him. When I read this particular uh, uh, sign last night, I was actually at my daughter's house. This week I am um, I, I'm house sitting, I'm fur baby sitting, and, and I, I'm keeping my grand dog and my grand cat, and and so I go up there and stay the night with them, and so. When I turned to go down her hallway, there at the far end of that hall, she's got a new plaque up. And I just stopped because I realized God was speaking to me. And, and the sign says, we can complain because rose bushes have thorns or rejoice because thorn bushes have roses and I thought it's all in the perspective it's all in the one the way one looks at it it's still one and the same the wording is changed up a little bit but it's all in the perspective we can complain or we can rejoice and it's how you see it. Even our eyes take in things. It's just not our emotions or our mouth or anything like that that take things in. Our eyes take in things. Our brain, our mind takes in things that is going to affect our attitude. And our attitude is going to affect our relationship with God. It's still talking about the rose bush, or you could call it the thorn bush. But reading that again, 
It says we can complain because rose bushes have thorns. Or rejoice because thorn bushes have roses. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to rejoice. Because the thorn bush has the roses on it. I want to take in. I want to hunger and thirst after righteousness. So that I may be among the meek. That I may be among uh, uh, the merciful. I want to be Christ-like. Over in the book of Psalms 42 and 2. It says, my soul thirsteth for God. For the living God. My soul thirsteth. I'm hungry. So what am I going to do? I'm going to eat more of the word of God. I, I, I thirst. What am I going to do? I'm going to drink in more of his spirit. I'm going to take more of him in. So that my bones will be fat in the Holy Ghost. So that I may be filled with his presence. And filled with his power. And when I my appetite. Those things that I desire, those things that I'm hungry for, thirsty for, then my attitude would be more like Christ. Again, over in Psalms 107 in verse 9, for he satisfieth the longing soul and filleth the hungry soul with goodness. He filleth. I'm going to hunger and I'm going to thirst. And I want to be like David. I may want something. I may desire something. But then when I look at the precious souls. That provided it for me. I don't want to be. I don't want to be greedy. I don't want to be selfish. I want to honor the people. I want to give back. To the people. You know when you live for God. It even makes you look at your enemies different. If you're hungering and thirsting for righteousness, if you're hungering and thirsting after righteousness, it even helps you feel different towards your enemies. That's affecting your attitude. Sometimes I think all of us need a renewing of the Holy Ghost. I think all of us need to go back to Calvary. I think all of us need to dig up deeper, reach higher. Than we've ever reached. And be more Christ like. This world is so angry. And so bitter. And if we the church. If we're not careful. We'll get our eyes off the maker. We'll get our eyes off God. And start looking around us. And we will let. That, that seed of bitterness. Come into our lives. And no longer will we be seeking for more of God. We'll be out just like the others spouting off and sounding anything but like a Christian. So my final scripture is here in Romans. Romans the 12th chapter verses 18 through 21. It says, if it be possible as much as lieth in you, live peacefully with all men. Dearly beloved, avenge not yourselves, but rather give place unto wrath. For it is written, vengeance is mine, I will repay, saith the Lord. Therefore, if thine enemy hunger, feed him. If he thirst, give him drink. For in so doing, thou shalt heap coals of fire on his head. Be not overcome of evil, but overcome evil with good. Don't, don't try and get even. Don't try and give back what they gave you. Sometimes we feel like it. Sometimes we do it. But that's not what we should do. We're letting our appetite for the things of this world affect our attitude. The Bible says if your enemy is hungry, give him something to eat. If he's thirsty, give him something to drink. 
the Bible tells us not to be overcome of evil, but overcome evil with good. That little old child song, this little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. I want to let it shine until Jesus comes. I want to help somebody. I want to love my enemies. And I pray that as I do so, I find fewer and fewer enemies. God can change things. But first of all, let's allow him to change us. Heavenly Father, we come before you right now in closing. And I just pray, God, that you would help us, God, to desire the things of you. Help our appetite to, God, just increase every day for more and more of you. That others, they'll see you in us. They won't see us, but they'll see you in us. And help them, God, to want to come to you. I ask this in the precious name of Jesus. Amen.